Hi everyone, it's Chantira Budobayas here. Yesterday I have a shot on um, in the garage, <coughs> in the garden actually, I create. If you guys watch my live stream, I create the session with the models by set the light, <coughs> create the raindrops. So I will give a, um, today I will give the Photoshop tutorial how I work on post processing. So I already used this one, this photo, and gonna work on this one. Okay. What I adjust from, so I will work on Photoshop camera raw right away. This one not going to <coughs> work on Lightroom. So let's get on right on Photoshop. What I do is I will increase the shadows just a little bit like plus 30. The Y is will be 1. And exposure just a little bit to bright her up because I'm normally shoot under then just that and then hit open okay you can see sometimes if our our shot is not in the center you just crop to make it more feel balance and so the subject become in the center <coughs> This part should be okay because she posed in curve. What I'm gonna do today is just like uh, there is a friend asked me, yeah, how I delete, how I remove the acne and pose on her on the model skin. So today I'm going to work on that one on my on this shot. Okay, I'm going to work on. Uh, healing blush and frequency separation because when we zoom in she have some pores and uh, scar and just more acne okay from the background image command J twice so you will get two times of two layers one layer ones and layer ones copy go to layer ones um, and then go to filter blur collection blur for this one i will use about 20 20.4 you, you guys can use 20 or you can f um you can feel you can see the blur in here this is where the hand, the small hand here can move and you can see the blur is will be like this on her face, right? So hit OK. Then work on layer 1, copy. Go to image, apply image. And um, the layers, what we, uh, we have to work on the layers, right? So the layers that we work on is will be layer 1 because we have to subtract the tone color with the textures separate and we work separately so now go to the layer one and hit okay oops sorry no i missed one uh <laughs> apply image go to the layer ones already and blending you have to go to subtract the scale and offset is going is will be automatically this is the Photoshop, um, they set up like this, so hit OK, then come to blending mode here, then go to linear light, right? hit OK. If you guys go to see the, my before my frequency separation, I will work uh, similar way, and I think the other guys also work similar way too, but my one will have the t the texture between, so I will open 
the new lay new layers in between la layer and la layer one copy. You can see on the layers room here, right? So this layer. Okay, I will work on this layer later. Now go to blur. Blur layers is mean the layer ones. Uh, let me. and texture you can give the name so you guys not confused when I talk about the layers and this one will be light and shadow right so now we have three layers that we have to work on let's go to work on layer one first it's called blur right go to the tools lasso tool then you have to choose the area go to filter blur gradient blur this one i will keep about 17 actually 19 and the other So this we try to make her skin become more smoother than before. And most of the time when I when we work on frequency separation, it means we work on the portrait or close up. But in this image is I like to make it more details too. That's that's why I work on this one frequency separation. Okay. I will give the same thing. Uh, if you want to get rid of this, so you have to place Command D. And if you use PC, you probably need to place Control Control D. Okay. okay now we work on the texture. The text. Sorry, but <laughs> motorbike. So the texture is mean the time to de delete the details on what we don't want. We need to remove on her skin. So we come to work on the texture layers. On the texture layers, normally I use the... Uh, some people also use spot healing blush too. But for me, I like to use healing blush too. To, uh, address or stem from the texture nearby and stem on remove I mean stem on the texture that we don't need or the pose on or the pimple or the scar on just like this okay. let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see more obvious right here we use healing blush too we don't use sp spot healing blush because spot healing blush we take away the details the texture on your skin so use use healing blush too and you have you cannot go so far from the area around where you want to stamp on you cannot use stamp to too or you want it to but stem to for corn stem for me is too harsh and i don't like that way okay so in this you have to be patient and little by little work on the details better you have to zoom in and work on the skin work on that those area that you want to make it bet better quality than from the original shoot shot, right? Okay, just like <clears throat> okay. From here, you guys can see the image, like how to delete on even the acne and the pose and on the skin that you don't need 
you want everything become smooth okay from now I will make the video faster okay let me drop here a little bit because in this area you can see the light and shadow and tones and color are really different you have to really careful about when you stamp the area around it has to be suitable with the spot that you stamp on right so cannot go so far like this and then you will damage the area that you work on is too different that's why we have to zoom in a lot and work little by little and be patient with the quality work Okay, now I think I pretty much, pretty much uh, uh, remove all the acne, the pores and pimples that she have on her skin that we don't, we don't want to see it right there. You can see it like before and after, before and after, right? So now, <clears throat> uh, now we can see the tones and the color on her skin is not really smooth then how we can make it smooth then we have to work on the layers that i create the new one in between you can see the layers here right between the brush uh, tone and the texture actually yeah let me name again tone and textures so this one is the new layer we will create by blush everything to become smooth in the area that we don't we want it to make it per more perfect okay let me show you how it work use a blush and uh, opacity have to be 100 floor normally I use as 6% 6 5 can do five and some people even do three but you have to be patient or some people can do like 10 percent here but uh, you probably you can use 10 percent and then bring opacity here down to down to any percent that uh, to make your models on your subject don't turn it too much like uh, animation or robot or whatever is not it's too harsh okay right let, let's get start to brush this area so to make the beauty when we do frequency separation it has to be like beauty retouch when you have to know the face of the models the light and shadow so the human when you blush on the beauty thing is you need to to help her to have like a chic bones it have to be like three anger 
make it more smooth right and this is where the blush her blush like a little red it here and then this is more tone to keep the the layers on on her face and sometimes even models uh, not this case but sometimes when you shoot the models and the, Im the image look really like the models last night wasn't sleep well or she doesn't drink enough water so her eyes back is will be you can see obvious you can help with this one too like you have to blush on the eyes make it lighter <clears throat> so her eyes will look better you also need to understand light and shadow when you give the light or set up the light during the shoot and then you have to work on some especially when you shoot outdoor the reflection is come from everywhere right so you have to be careful and think about the way you set up and even before you set up you know you already have the image in your mind what you want your image to look like this I will give, make a little bit darker sometimes we have to be like surgery doctor huh? <laughs> and sometimes and most of the time we have to be like the makeup artist and hair stylist and everything when we do editing on our photo so we want to make the person on, in our image become beautiful then they are this is the photographer mission to make a beautiful image than the real person uh, need to make beautiful image then they use their own mobile phone to shoot themselves, right? Otherwise, the camera will not never exist. <laughs> right, so this is a bit. So you have to turn her nose to make a, the layers a little bit. This a little bit more dark from eyeshadow and under uh, elbow under eyes brow you need to make it bright so actually if you are a guy your man you probably don't know how to do the makeup but if you dis decided to become a portrait photographer you need to know how the makeups work on a woman face then you understand how to edit your image to become beauty okay so here yeah, i will keep everything here so you can see still a little drops in here but we will use again the blur gradient blur and if you guys have uh, capture one uh, Nick collection I most of the time like if I don't have much time to work on much detail after this after frequency separation I also use Nick collection um, to help me to make my words quicker and but I also use uh, de decrease opacity down to make it not look like an animation or the robot, right? <laughs> okay, I want to give her here little makeup, more makeup here. because she will look more healthier with little cheekbone and 
the color on her sheet okay I think oh, one thing that I never miss out like when the models have to uh, separate her hair on her head don't forget to you have to stamp make it dark too because you have to make like th thick hair right so everybody look younger thick, to have thick hair so don't forget it don't miss it you have to work on details in everything to have a quality on your image okay right so on the face I think let's see before and after before can you guys see and and after after right this is before and after okay so I will give a little bit tone on her body this <laughs> I didn't a little light here because I'm peace. We are women. We don't want to have a little dark arm piece, right? So help her out. Make it lighter. So. And also sometimes we can give her help her with uh, highlight on her boobs to make her boobs bigger we can help by our photoshop um, this is a bit too much but i know then i use the here <laughs> laser tool laser tool delete it probably this one this side is not <laughs> Okay, just give a little bit feeling like okay she have some and also now come down here uh, I want to keep here become smooth then you can see this line off on her make it a little more, more healthy more light on her stomach just she already have but i need to give more so this time at the moment just like when you have the line on the pack on the girl it's just like very healthy and sexy There's a little too much, then you can use eraser to delete a little. Okay, I will leave it that way. Let's zoom out and see. Okay, all oh, other things I to me is perfect. Her face and her body. Let's see before. Okay, this is before and after. Healthier and smoother, right? Okay, now I'm going to merge all of the layers together, become one. Why I always merge it or flat it? Because my memory on my <laughs> computer, I need to save. Uh, safety first, I don't want it hang and I have to start all over again. Okay, so let me save. Make it save. Okay, now we can see up here, just like we don't need anything to disturb the eyes on the image. So that one is distraction, distraction. So what we what we gonna do? We just in this case, I make it easy. Pitch two. So like that, and this one also. Okay, now we remove it. Okay, now I will, as I said, you guys can either 
want to make it more smooth on make the other layers and work on Gaussian blur again or you want to use the capture one if you guys have it it's a good uh, tool and also but in this case for me I have Nick collection I'm going to use my Nick collection so every time for my uh, computer I need to convert to smart option uh, convert to smart object <laughs> and then I'm going to filter and right protector 3 but uh, actually not not need correct correct channel sorry I mean protector protector to make it more smoother okay now hit okay and then we can see very smooth right but we don't need this is too smooth and some people might like it but I think it's too much for me because I don't want my model become animation or the robot right so I will decrease by decrease opacity right here uh, let's say 70% is okay for me then let me merge my layers again and save okay in this one right and um, sometimes when you use the filter to make it everything smooth you can also use the mask mask and blush the eyes the eyebrow and the hair everything that like it should have the textures blush it out to keep the texture as original but in this case i just want to show you guys the other ways around so command j is again to create a new layers go to filter go to other high pass uh, normally a high pass i use 3.7 as always in any image my standard actually then go to overlay and then you can see this is really sharp right a little too much again opacity down I will go down to 30 so I still have smooth skin and but with the details on her skin every details come out by um, high pass it's really good and if you guys want more on uh, let me work one more things like uh, command option chip e uh, to create one more layers and then go to um, uh, I just want to blush so I will use the sharp, sharpen to to sharpen her eyes around here eyebrows to make it and her lips and a little bit of some part of her hair like like that okay and this is what I want okay this is the how to remove pimples acne and pores on the model skin it's done right that right here and if you guys want to work in the other um, from your continue your creativity I will show you in the, my next video bye for now have a good one